Salome, and greetings from the abyss. What banished me to the abyss, you ask? Four words. The master of disguise. The Master of Disguise is a 2002 comedy starring Dana Carvey. It also stars Jennifer Esposito, Harold Gould, Gould, and Lieutenant Commander Data, Brent Spiner. The Master of Disguise is world-renowned for just how bad it is, and yet I'm drawn to it. Dana Carvey, you may know, was uh, cohorts, I'll use that word, cohorts with Mike Myers in the pretty successful, uh, Frank, what was it called? Wayne's World. Sorry. Sorry, I supposed to have notes. In Wayne's World, uh, Dana Carvey was also on Saturday Night Live, Saturday Night Live with Mike Myers. Uh, what I think happened is, and then I'll get back to the master disguise, Mike Myers had some success, a pretty big success with uh, Austin Powers series. And Dana Carvey, as one half of Wayne's World, as Garth, thought, well, let me try my hand at this kind of ridiculous comedy and maybe I'll have some of the same success. Boy, was he wrong. Not only was it not a success... Uh, equal to Austin Powers, the master disguise fell flat on his face. Uh, It's produced by Adam Sandler. It's got a soundtrack that is nothing short of vomitous. It's ridiculous. There's one of those uh, 1990s, it's not even early 2000s, it's like 1990s rap song. I mean early 1990s like rap themes the M-A-S-T-E-R of disguise. It's really bad. Uh, What's even more ridiculous is the name of the main character, Dana Carvey plays Pistachio Disguisey. So he's an Italian. I'm not even Italian, and I was offended by this portrayal of an Italian man. He's got a, uh, I'll just say it. Uh, Well, I'm not going to say it. He's got a ridiculous haircut, and he's doing this over-exaggerated Italian accent. I don't know who this episode's even for, but maybe for the person who hasn't seen Master Disguise. And then the whole plot is he's part of this disguise family who have this special power. Later on in the, in the movie, he finds out it's called Energico, where he can become another person or become he's they're so in tune to disguising themselves that they actually become like the person they're disguising themselves as so they become another person in one scene which is probably also offensive to a lot of people he's becoming an indian man he's become another person become another person become another person and we're on and on and he becomes this caricature of an indian man who's uh bringing a cobra out of a basket with his with his flute and so Anyway, his father is a master disguised before him, and he runs afoul of a villain art collector named Devlin Bowman, played played by uh, Lieutenant Commander Data. And Lieutenant Commander Data does 20 years in prison, gets out, and kidnaps Pistachio's parents because he wants his father to steal priceless works of art, well, priceless pieces of history like the Constitution, etc., by disguising himself as people. Like, for instance, he becomes uh, the uh, Olympic athlete Michael Johnson, and <laughs> and Michael Johnson is given the Constitution by the security guards because there's just, like, run-of-the-mill security guards guarding the Constitution of the United States, and he, he takes it like a baton and runs off with it. You get the picture. So Dana Carvey, who was shielded from this 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 disguisey tradition by his father against the wishes of his grandfather um, is thrust into the position of becoming a master of disguise himself. It's absolutely ridiculous. His grandfather shows up and teaches him how to become a master of disguise. Uh, it's I can't even use the word again. I want to use it's so ridiculous 
like they're the number one uh weapon fighting form that the master of sky uses is open hand slaps and you have to say who's your daddy as you're slapping someone um he learns how to harness energico he has to get a secretary um but the the actual when he becomes when he becomes another person at these different scenes it's so stupid it's funny and so i wish they would just have so I wouldn't have to sit through the rest of the nonsensical movie, which really will give you hepatitis B if you sit through the whole thing. If they would just have the scenes where Dana Carvey is playing other people, like he plays Al Pacino being Scarface. He plays the the guy from Jaws. Um, he, play, he plays the turtle guy at the Turtle Club. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Gammy Num Nums <laughs> and uh, whatever else. Those are so bad that it's, I mean, it's it's actually really funny. Um, the rest of the movie is so bad. It will destroy you. It will banish you to the abyss if you watch the whole thing through. Uh, Brent Spiner, Lieutenant Commander Data, as the as Devlin Bowman is over the top. And when he, he, he does his villain's laugh, it's always cut short by a fart. And they just, they beat that thing to death with a cane. Um... And so Dana Carvey, Pistachio, becomes the master of disguise. He frees his parents. And then finally, at the end, he gets the Constitution back from Data by being George W. Bush at the end. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything. That's the master of disguise. So you may ask yourself, why are you talking about this movie? Um, because I can. And because I watched it again over the weekend. And now I'm in the abyss and I'm diseased. And I want other people to know about The Master of Disguise. What I suggest you do if you've never seen it is not actually watch the movie. Uh, if, you, if, you're, if you have the willpower to sit through it, God bless you. But maybe just look up some of the clips, like the turtle from the Turtle Club. He bites a guy's nose off and spits it back on his face. Um, and, and those kind of things. <laughs> it's, so, it's so stupid. Um, and I'm also doing this for my mom. I made my mom sit through The Master of Disguise. Um, so that's The Master of Disguise from 2002. It's also labeled a family comedy. I, I don't know. Unless you want to destroy your family, that's that. <laughs> <laughs>